Hey, what's up you guys? This is Jasmine here from jasminewanders.com. I recently got a reader email from someone named Amber and I wanted to write I wanted to answer her questions on video because I get these questions a lot and if you're planning a trip for the first time outside of the US or your home country like Amber is, these might be useful. So Amber's first question is how do you have the money to travel so much? Do you have any bills that you have to pay, like student loans, every month? Um, fortunately, I don't have any monthly bills. Um, before I left to start traveling five years ago, I got a degree, but I went to school on a scholarship, so I didn't have any student loans or anything that I have to pay on a monthly basis. Um, un unfortunately, I can't really give you any advice regarding that because I don't have any monthly bills still from the U.S. Her second question is, when you say that you sold all of your worldly possessions, do you mean your car and all your clothes? Um, I did get rid of my car, I got rid of my apartment, I got rid of all of my junk, you know, that stuff that I really didn't need to keep, that I would forget about in a month, which I did. Um, I didn't get rid of all of my clothes, but I, I really cut my wardrobe in half at least, because um, it all had to fit inside a backpack. And I did leave a couple of things at my parents' house, but it's nothing that I went back to. So one of the things that I learned about getting rid of all my possessions is that, you know, once you don't have them, they're really, like, not part of your memory bank anymore. I can't remember most of the things that I got rid of five years ago. Her third question is, are there any countries that, you, that have been harder to get into? Um, Vietnam, you needed a... I needed to get a visa in advance. Um, I think Cambodia was the same way, but that doesn't mean that they were hard to get into. You just have to, you know, do the right things, like read up about each country before you go. See, do I need to get a visa? Where can I get it? Is it something you should get in the U.S. to make it easier? Or can you get it in the country that you're in before you traveled? So, for my Vietnamese visa, I believe I was able to get that in Thailand, so I didn't have to fly back home or or uh, plan out my travels in advance, which I really don't do. She also asked, which country did you find it was easiest to get a job? Um, I've only tried to get a, a job in two countries, that's Australia and New Zealand. Uh, since you're a U.S. citizen, it's really easy to get a working holiday visa as long as you're under 30 and you don't have a criminal record. Um, the job market, when I was there, I was in New Zealand in 2007 to 2008 in Australia like most of 2008, and it was really easy. Um, you can get anything from like waitress jobs, a lot of times they'll hire in farms. I don't know if that sounds appealing to you, but, um, and I've never done it honestly either, but I know there's always farms looking for work. And in the video, I'll post a few links for you to um, check out local jobs there if you're interested. Number, her last question is, are you ever nervous or feeling unsafe while traveling by yourself? Um, I've been traveling for a while by myself, and I get nervous sometimes. But that doesn't mean that I don't do it, you know. One of the most important things, um, and I've written about this before, is trusting your instinct. So if I feel like I'm in a shady area or a taxi driver's shady or there's something shady about this situation, I'll just take a moment to reassess it. Because, like, my personal safety is is my responsibility. It's not anyone else's. When you're traveling by yourself, you know, you're the one that has to look out for you. So it's really important to trust your instincts and do what's best for you, you know. That means, like, I do limit my time. I don't, like, wander around, uh, like, at 3 in the morning in a strange city. It's not something I do. That might be okay in some cities. But I prefer not to risk it, you know. It's all about making wise decisions, trusting your instinct. So I hope that helps, Amber, and good luck on your travels. And if anybody else has any questions out there, I'd love to answer them. You can email me at jazzandwanders at gmail.com. Okay, bye for now.